Today I'm going to read you the story from my book, The President's Glasses. The President was going to Dublin Castle to sign a very important document, but... Don't forget your glasses, honey bun. He left without his glasses. Oh dear, said the president's wife. She handed the president's glasses to the president's pigeon and ordered him to fly to Dublin Castle immediately. He flew high above the city to see if he could spot the president's car. O'Connell Street was very busy with people rushing to work. The crowd bustled about and the traffic was bumper to bumper. He flew across the River Liffey, hoping to find a president's car, but instead he saw a boat race in the water. A Viking ship was winning. At Trinity College, he noticed a large crowd. Perhaps the president was signing autographs. No such luck. It was just a bunch of tourists taking selfies. Next, he swooped past St. Stephen's Green. But all he could see were his cousins enjoying a morning swim. What's the story, bud? As he passed Christchurch Cathedral, the bells rang so loudly that he almost dropped the president's glasses with fright. But he didn't. Whew. By now, the president's pigeon was feeling a little bit tired. So he hitched the ride from a passing hot air balloon. At last, he made it to Dublin Castle, where he spotted the president's car parked inside the gates. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Everybody clapped and cheered as the president's pigeon landed safely on the president's desk with the president's glasses. Thank you, pigeon said the president as he put on his glasses. Now where did I leave my blooming pen? Wah, 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 wah. What do you think happened to President's Pigeon? I hope you enjoy that story. And now I have a couple of questions to answer. And the first question is, if I was the president of Ireland, What's the first thing I would do? And I think if I was the president of Ireland, I'd have a big party with big chocolate cake. I'd invite every child from all over Ireland to this party and we would celebrate the president's pigeon because he did such a great job in getting the president's glasses back to him. Second question, hmm, what is my favorite treat? I think my favourite treat is a blueberry muffin every morning at 11 o'clock with a nice cup of coffee before I begin work. And the third question is what character would I like to be from a famous book? And I think when I was a young boy I always wanted to be an explorer. So I think my favourite character to be would be Tintin and to go on his adventures. So thank you very much for listening to The President's Glasses and I hope you enjoy the story. Slán